guys, welcome back. Today's gonna be like a random chat about my pets and like a pet review. Is that a thing? This feels wrong. It's kind of like you're reviewing your children, which one's your favorite, but they're pets, so that's somehow okay. So we're gonna talk about all my pets. I have a thing with pets. I collect them. I don't know why. I've had so many pets over my life. And so I wanted to talk about some of them, some of my favorites, ones I recommend, ones I do not recommend, and then because. And there is no end story. This is the end story because, 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 because. So first let's talk about cats. I had two of the most amazing cats who have recently passed away. Oh, I guess it was about a year ago and I miss them like crazy. Cats are awesome pets. They do crap in your house, which is the biggest downfall. And aging cats can't even really hit the litter box. Also a downfall, but otherwise awesome pets. Do I miss them? Yes. Would I get cats again? No. And the reason is because we like to travel and you can't really board a cat. So that's really the biggest issue that I had, right? So, and they're like finicky and they don't like some people and strangers and they like their routine. They're a lot like me. Cats and I have a lot in common. Um, so that's why we like to travel. So cats off the table. That brings me to a dog. Oh man. Dogs are by far my most disfavorite pet. We have Oscar Mayer Wiener. At first he was like a spaz muffin, but after about four years, for very long years, he's calmed down and he's like a piece of furniture that just like lays around and cuddles and is awesome. Yes, he goes to the bathroom outside. Yes, my kids occasionally step in it, but otherwise, the best pet ever. And when we travel, we have an amazing kennel that has no cages. It's an open kennel that he can go to and they live stream the whole time, you guys. So I can like, and I do, I check him out on Facebook and watch him playing while we're gone. And so totally, I'm a dog person. Next, birds. Let's talk about budgies. So I've had lots of budgies over my lifetime and they're one of my all-time favorite pets. They're so easy to care for. They talk. Did you know that? Maybe they call parakeets, parakeets or budgies, wherever you're from. They actually talk. I've had five budgies over my lifetime and all of them have talked. They're really friendly. They give you kisses. I totally, it creeps people out, but I just love to kiss my bird. And he talks to me. He flies around and he lands on my head. I, I have nothing bad to say about birds. I think they're awesome pets. Um, yes, they're loud. Yes, they chirp nonstop. No, I cannot hear them. I've tuned them out. They're like my children whining. It becomes background noise that's invisible to me. So, um, birds. Second favorite pets of all time. Next, let's talk about lizards. So you recently know that we got a bearded dragon. Her name is Daenerys Targaryen and she's actually pretty cool. I was very scared of her at first, which I'm not sure why, because she's awesome and friendly and sweet. They don't get huge like iguanas. I used to have a six foot iguana, not in a cage, just free range in my house. Um, I loved that iguana. It was such a cool pet, but it didn't go well with cats. So, um, I, I, yeah, uh, don't get it an iguana if you have cats. But anyways, that's not the point. The point is this bearded dragon is actually a pretty cool pet, except for one thing. Its bowel movements are the most foulest thing I've ever smelt in my entire life. Like the whole house smells. And so I got a big bowl to put in its tank that it can go to the bathroom in, but I'm emptying it like three times a day. Like it's a, in a nursing home and it's a bedpan. I'm chained to this lizard. So I'm not sure what we're gonna do when we travel. Who's gonna empty its bedpan? It eats like 20 crickets a day, live crickets, plus other things. But I have to go to the store every other day to buy live crickets. And it's a trek to get to the live cricket selling pet store. And so I love this dragon, but holy crap, it's a lot of work. Just warning you, it's it's the most work of any pet I've ever had, and I've had every kind of pet. You've been warned. I can't not mention hamsters. Hamsters and I have had a, a crazy relationship. So they've all died, obviously, but they've all died in horrific horrific ways. When I was a kid, um, my parents thought it smelled, so they put it in the basement. And then did you know they hibernate? They legit hibernate. So it was cold down there, so it went to a sleep. My parents thought it froze to death. My mom tried to heat it up with a, with a, you know, a hair dryer and burnt it. And then it was screaming. They scream. They scream. That's seared into my mind. And anyways, it was fine. So then we had another one and it was chilly and I thought it was also hibernating. So my stepdad gave it mouth to mouth resuscitation. It was, a, it was just dead. It was just dead. He sucked on that hamster for like 40 minutes. <laughs> it was just dead. So then we had two more for the girls since we moved here, except the 
one ate the other one. You can't put two females together. I didn't know that. It was entrails for days. That was horrifying. And then we had another one and it, and it um, died in a horrible way because Oscar broke into its cage and played with it to death on the white carpet. And we came home with our kids. Ah, la, 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 la. It was like <laughs> horror scene. So no more hamsters in this house. And last but not least, well, we've had fish. Oh, fish. Don't even get me started. Don't get fish. Fish are terrible pets. We have always had fish. We have tons of fish. They just don't die. They live forever. It's a nightmare. Um, and also bunnies. We've had a lot of bunnies. I've killed so many bunnies. Bunnies are very hard to keep alive, okay? Just saying. And they poo things that look exactly like Nestle cereal. You will never eat Nestle cereal again, you know, like Cocoa Puffs. Never again when you've had a bunny. They're identical. I dare you to tell the difference. Also, they poo an obnoxious amount, it smells terrible, and they're very hard to keep alive because everything wants to eat them, right? They just get eaten. That's what happens to all of our bunnies. So quickly, let's talk about some of my pet names that I've had. I'm very original when it comes to naming pets. <sighs> I had a cat named Kitty. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not, I'm not very, uh, I had a, I, I did have a cat named Pissy Face. <laughs> Because we rescued her when she was a kitten um, outside and she was really little and she, I brought her in the bed and she peed on my face and so we didn't name her yet so we just we called her that pissy face cat. <laughs> and then I had her for 10 years and that was her name. Pissy face. We had a female cat named Mister. Why? Couldn't tell ya. And um I just guess Oscar Mayer Wiener. I'm not creative at all. I'm at all when it comes. My my son's name is Milo, and my dog's name is Oscar. <laughs> oh, I've talked for long enough. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.